Good morning, it's 37 degrees. It's still really windy. I definitely overslept. Um, I didn't even open my eyes until like seven o'clock, which is late. I opened my eyes and I was like, wow, it's, it's already bright. And I kind of shocked myself. But I just laid here for a while and now it's 7.45 and I'll start packing up and I'll hit the trail. Good morning, back on the Appalachian Trail. I feel like this morning was kind of rough, waking up. It was so cold and still windy. The It was like 37 degrees, but the feels like temperature is 30. And so I was freezing cold. I just kind of woke up. And then the second I decided to get out of my sleeping bag, I just packed up as quick as I could. I haven't eaten anything. I just wanted to warm up. I walked for like two minutes before I had to unpack everything out of my backpack again to get my gloves because they were on the very bottom in my dry bag. And I was like starting to lose feeling in my fingers. So I was like, I gotta warm those up. So got my gloves out, found the trail again. There was a camp store at the campground, but that doesn't open until nine. And so I didn't really want to wait around for it. Went to the the station this morning and put my $30 in an envelope and paid for my tent site. I feel like I probably could have gotten away with not paying because I arrived super late and I left this morning. I didn't see anyone like walking around. Everyone was just like in their RVs and their tents the whole night just because of how cold it was. But I did the right thing. <laughs> I put the money in the envelope. Now I'm walking. There should be I should pass a couple like actual waysides that are like open with the grills on today and pass some resorts. So I should have some luxuries today. Maybe go out for breakfast or lunch or something fun, something indoors where I can warm up to. So I'm just excited to be moving. This is what the trail looks like for a lot of the Shenandoah section of the AT. It's nice. There's still, oh, I just tripped. <laughs> There's still a lot of up and downs. Like yesterday, I think I still hiked over 6,000 feet of elevation gain. It's just a lot cruisier. Like it's, it's not technical. You don't have to jump on and like over rocks or roots. And there are sections like that, but I think the miles just go quicker when the trail is nice like this. I believe up there, there's an actual wayside that's open and serves hot food and like the famous blackberry milkshakes. Actually, never mind. I heard that the blackberry milkshake machine is broken there. But anyways, in another mile, there's an actual like resort with, I think, a real like sit down restaurant. And I'm going to check that out instead because I need a little treat myself moment after the last four days of crappy food. Back on trail after the big burger and ice cream at the Big Meadows Lodge. Uh, I've heard a lot about like blackberry ice cream or blackberry everything in the Shenandoah, so figured I'd try it. So I got got one scoop of blackberry ice cream, but now I've been back on trail for like five minutes and I can't stop shivering. <laughs> I am so cold. I just checked my phone. It's 45 degrees with a feels like a 40 degrees, but this is the coldest <laughs> I've felt in a while. 
There was also just someone walking around with a tank top, and I don't know how she was doing it. I have like all my layers on right now. I just need to start hiking fast and get warm again. I was able to charge my phone up to 100% while I was there because they put me on like a table in the back corner and there was an outlet there so that's nice. It's been kind of a struggle keeping my phone charged the last four days and I didn't want to use too much of my battery bank because I've been charging like my headphones and my watch with that too. Uh, there's another resort called the Skyland Resort in about eight miles and I think I want to stay there tonight. I stayed there last time and it was nice. It's just I don't know if I mentally want to do another freezing cold night on a mountain in a windstorm. I think I need a little luxury to keep my mental health in check. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm getting pretty close to the Skyland Resort. I've hiked 17 miles today. I'm gonna pop in and see if they have availability. I tried calling earlier, but I was on hold for a while, so I just hung up, but fingers crossed. <laughs> Just got a little snack from the gift shop. I'm gonna find my room, but I feel like this place is really large. It could be like a half mile walk or something. <laughs> All right, little tour of my room. We got the sink area and the closet. We got bathroom. Does it come with conditioner? Yes, that's the good stuff. And then I just threw my pack down. Two beds for just me. I'm sure I'll sleep in one and then have like a gear explosion on the other. A little coffee maker that I probably won't use, but I think this is the best part. Not like I'll spend much time out here, but woof. Yeah, it's still cold. So the plan is I'm gonna take a quick shower, walk back up <laughs> to like the restaurant area, grab some dinner, come back. Then I was just talking to Kyle and I might call him and do a podcast episode for his podcast, Trail Tales. So we'll see if that works out, if like the signal is good or the Wi-Fi, because apparently they just got Wi-Fi installed like yesterday. So I don't know how strong it is, but we'll see. And then yeah, have a nice night of charging all my devices uploading all my YouTube videos and just getting caught up on, yeah, you know, stuff. <laughs> I don't think there's washer and dryer here, so I'm just gonna take a shower and put stinky clothes back on and hope that helps a little bit, but I'm excited for a good night's sleep. Not outside, not freezing cold, not windy, not on like a two inch inflatable mattress, so. I'm really happy with this decision. <laughs> So I'm just washing a couple things in the sink, like my shorts, socks, like kitchen rag, pee rag, and I'm just gonna, I guess, hang it by the heater for the night and hopefully it dries. I mean, I don't think things are too bad because I haven't been sweating because it's been really cold, so I guess that's a bonus, but we'll see. Just a couple things that I think will make me feel a little better tomorrow. <laughs> So I just tried to hop on and do the podcast with Kyle, and I have two pairs of headphones, but for some reason, neither pair of headphones were getting good podcast audio. 
So can't do that. I might stop at Kyle said like a Dollar General and get any type of like plug-in headphones and maybe try again in a few days. But now I'm just gonna dedicate the rest of the night to getting caught up on YouTube. And these clothes that I washed in the sink and just put next to the dryer are actually almost dry, which is so fast. So now I feel like I can maybe wash a couple more things like my sun hoodie. All right, it's a super late night. I've just been, I don't know, mostly just scrolling social media, but it's almost midnight and I'm gonna go to bed. I'll probably get still seven hours, wake up, get all my stuff together, and then head to breakfast. So, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow on trail.